We are moving to Amsterdam in a couple of weeks uh, and I have to empty out this house in like a week and a half. So we have been planning on moving to Amsterdam later this year. Uh, it's actually been like five years in the making. We've been thinking about this, dreaming about it. We tested out living in Amsterdam last year. If you've been following the vlog since then, uh, we found out we were pregnant unexpectedly with Remy when we were in Amsterdam last year, which is why his middle name is Holland. Um, so we finally decided, okay, we're actually just gonna do it and we're gonna move long-term this fall was the idea. And then literally like a week ago, we found our dream apartment and it just checks all the boxes, like three bedrooms and fully furnished, set up for kids, backyard, really central, perfect location, all the things. And very serendipitously, we got the apartment, which just felt like a miracle. We were so excited. Oh, you okay, Ben? So we were just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we got this apartment. This is amazing. Uh, the only catch is that the lease starts August 1st. So we were like, okay, we have to like start moving real fast. So this week has been crazy because we're still in the process of filling out all this paperwork um, for our visas because that's also quite complex. We have an immigration lawyer who is helping us move one of our businesses to the Netherlands, which is how we are eligible for the DASH visa. So that works if you're self-employed and you're American. It's quite complicated, which is why we're paying uh, a professional to do it. And there is a lot of paperwork involved. So we're still in the process of that, but we can finish it while we're in the Netherlands. Uh, we had to find a tenant for this house. Thank God we found someone quickly, um, which is why we have to empty out the house uh, by August 1st because they'll be moving in, buying tickets, packing all the things. So this weekend, my job is to start the packing process. We are gonna get a storage unit for some things, but my criteria for that is that it has to be something that I would want in like five years. So, I mean, I'm in here because I need to go through this like, whole closet and you'll see, I'm gonna pull out like, okay, here's stuff that can go in the storage unit. Here's stuff that can just be given to like friends or family. My family is nearby, so I can just like give them some stuff to like use. I don't think I'll want it back, but like, it's just easier to give it to them or I can like donate it. And then things to like throw away, things to sell. Thank you if you bought anything from me on Instagram. Um, a lot of things have gone quickly this week, which has been really helpful. And then things to pack. So with packing, we are moving into a fully furnished apartment, which I'm really excited about for just like the first year, especially. I think it'll be nice. There's already so many other things to worry about, like furnishing an apartment is not it. So that will be nice. Um, we're planning on just packing four really big suitcases with like clothes, shoes, some kids' toys, those kinds of things. And then a couple of smaller boxes we will ship over there, but I'm trying to keep that pretty minimal. So it's honestly like a really good practice in auditing our entire life. Um, especially my closet and making sure that we really love everything and what do we actually need. I would say that I've always been pretty much a minimalist. We have moved cities almost every two years. So I have gotten really used to having to like be very particular about what I buy because I know like it better be good if it's going to take up space in a moving box. But moving to another country is like another layer of that where I'm like, oh, I have to be even more strict with things because I have such a smaller amount of space. I'm kind of excited because the timing is really nice. I have been pregnant or nursing for the past over three years. Um, so, you know, after going through all of that, you feel just kind of like a different person and I'm a little bit ready for like a new, fresh wardrobe vibe. Um, obviously, I don't want to buy everything from scratch right now, but you okay, bro? He's like fully learning how to crawl right now. It's wild. He's like six months. I don't remember Nico being this mobile this fast. Nico was very like talkative. He was already saying, he said mama at six months. Remy is much more like physical. Um, <laughs> he was just like fully crawling around this floor. Anyway, I'm excited to use the move as maybe like a good opportunity just to like clean house and maybe like buy some new clothes in Europe. We'll see. Oh gosh. Fuel for packing. I'm gonna go through this entire closet right. and then set aside the things that come in the storage unit tomorrow Sweet. and then yeah i was just i mean i think most of this is just new storage unit stuff and then some stuff that we can like throw away or get rid of can you take him i'm now? eating my i'm eating your bananas pup doesn't like bananas so thank you true love is eating my bananas 
Okay. Mm. So I think he needs a diaper change because he just woke up from his nap. Um, and I'm right gonna on. get to work in here. Thank you. Okay. They just brought me my favorite order. If you are in Nashville, Ian Rose is my favorite for us Ables. This is the pro. And then they have the best matcha in town, in my opinion. They have like a house made milk. And it's so freaking good. So let's get to work. Oh gosh, okay. not everything is so fine I am not stressed or overwhelmed in any way okay so the progress that has been made who um this is a box of clothes from Nico that are getting passed down to Remy I thought I had planned this perfectly even though I did not plan this at all um, the boys are almost exactly two years apart. So I was like, perfect. They will, he'll be able to wear all of Nico's clothes because it lines up same size, same season. Remy though is huge. He is tracking much bigger than Nico. Nico was always a little bit of a petite prince. Um, Remy has some girth to him, you know what I mean? So it's a little bit tricky for me to go through these winter clothes and be like, is this gonna fit Remy? But like, dude, this North Face little suit? For winter Amsterdam, it has to fit. <laughs> we will squeeze the rolls in. So this is a whole box of clothes that I'm gonna have to ship to the Netherlands. And then I'm gonna put a pile of clothes that I'm going to donate or drop off at Kid Stuff. Shout out Kid Stuff if you live in Nashville. Best spot for consignment kids clothes. And it's amazing because you can drop off your stuff. And if they take it, you get store credit that then you can use on more clothes. So it's like nice little sustainable loop. Okay, then I went through all of our Christmas boxes. I have two different boxes of like decorations. And again, I don't want to like ship too much stuff, but I was like, Christmas in Amsterdam, our first Christmas, we need to have like a couple little things that just like make us feel at home, right? So I had to just pick a couple of ornaments. Let's get new ornaments, that's fine, but like it's gonna be so sweet to pull out like a little ornament like this. I painted this in Brooklyn with our friends and Clayton and it's me and Clayton with our beanies. It's so cute. Um, so I'm gonna bring that one and I'm gonna bring, I feel bad because like, these are pretty breakable, but like Nico's little hand from his first Christmas. Oh, we have to do that for Remy this year. I'm gonna find a spot in Amsterdam to do that. And a couple other like little cute ornaments that just like have meaning behind them and are like a little bit smaller. I also want to bring the boys um, Waldorf ring. Do y'all know about this? So this is a little tradition I started um, with Nico. So like you put it out for everyone's birthday or you can put it out for like a holiday and then you get like a different token for their birthday and then you like put it in the little holes and then you put like little candles too. For like his second birthday we had two candles and then there were little tokens that symbolize something from each year. Oh my gosh, we actually got him a little windmill token for last time because it symbolized that in the past year he had lived in Amsterdam for a couple of months. And then I have like, what else do I have? I have a little acorn because the onesie that he wore home from the hospital had acorns on it. I have a little one, I have a Christmas tree, and then these like little candles go on it. So I want to keep adding to the ring. I want to do this for Remy's first birthday. Um, but it's just like a fun little tradition to make it feel homey. We have it out at Christmas time. You can use it as like the advent, um, what's it called? The advent candles. Okay, so I want to bring that. And then I also, like once I started having my kids, I just wanted to have little things that like, I don't know, it's fun to look back in your childhood and you remember like, oh, we always like hung the same banner. We always like did the same thing for birthdays. So I bought this little like felt happy birthday sign like on Etsy. And I just like wanted to have that feeling of like every birthday growing up, we always had like the little happy birthday banner and it goes out for your birthday. So I want to bring this. And then I also have like a little felt thing of Christmas trees um, for again for the holidays and our apartment that we're moving into, it has a wood burning fireplace, which I'm so freaking excited about because that feels wild to have that in an apartment in a city. It is like a two floor apartment, um, 
which is amazing, but it just feels so special to have a wood burning fireplace when it's like gray and rainy and cozy. Woo! Okay, so I'm gonna have to keep going. I feel like this process, like it looks worse before it gets better. And I really just want to start getting stuff into the storage unit because even here, like we already have boxes, like this just needs to go. Like I can't wait until it's just in a storage unit so then I can really start seeing like what's left to pack. Cause I feel like this isn't so much packing as much as it is just like organizing and redistributing. Uh, sorry, this is gonna be like the least aesthetic <laughs> vlog I've ever made. The vibes are coming. When we live in Europe, you'll be getting all the vibey vlogs with all the cute things. Uh, but this vlog is a lot more just chit chatting. Um, so sorry, it's just like not that cute to look at. <sighs> Something about putting all of our life belongings that we're not taking with us into a storage unit makes me want to organize it flawlessly. I was tempted to get those like little tags up like a qr code and then you can like scan it and it tells you everything that's inside the box and i was like that's a little unhinged let's just relax and do um something a little bit more minimal but i do want to make sure that there are really clear labels on every single box and i want them in plastic bins so that it's just like feels a little bit more sealed and nice because i do want our storage unit to look clean and organized that would make me feel less stressed okay so these are Christmas decor. Christmas. We're gonna do a tag on each side of the box. You know, just in case. We don't know which side is gonna be facing out. <laughs> Here's how it's looking. These are all clothes that I want to pack and this box here and a couple of things in their dresser. I'm starting to be concerned about only packing four suitcases for our entire family. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. We might need to make this six suitcases. We will see. Okay. Um, all these toys and books are going to my mom and my sister. I have a box of like memorabilia and just like little clothes and like pictures and stuff that I want to keep from their room. Uh, uh, just sold the changing pad on Facebook Marketplace, gonna put the dresser into storage. I have a bag um, in the hallway that is, I'm going to consign slash donate. So, you know, his bed, we're gonna keep at my mom's. We would put that in our storage unit, but she can use it with um, the other grandkids while we're away. And then these pictures, decorations, it's just like, how much do we actually bring with us? I think I'm just gonna have to put some stuff in storage and just get things when we're in Amsterdam. Um, but yeah, it's definitely getting real and quite nostalgic being in the boys' room because I just love this room. I think this is actually going to be the room that I am the most sad about leaving. Where are we moving, Nico? To Amsterdam. Oh hi, it is the next day, day two of the weekend of packing. The first weekend of packing. I am glad that we're breaking this up into like stages so that it's not so overwhelming. So we are taking my parents' van up to our storage unit with just like stuff to put in the storage unit, a lot of like boxes mainly. So we can have that set up. Um, basically we're just trying to clear out the house with things that we're like giving away, donating, selling, putting in the storage unit so that we're just left with things that we need to pack and furniture. And so the next weekend is when we're going to rent a U-Haul and then move any furniture that's left over into the storage unit. And then we're keeping some pieces at family members' houses as well. So that is how it's all happening. How are we feeling, Clayton? Are we feeling, I feel like it's going pretty well. It's been pretty smooth. We're, we're running on adrenaline right now, and Definitely. I think we like the thrill of the challenge. Like two weeks ago when we were joking whether if we got the apartment we wanted in Amsterdam on August 1st, whether we would have enough time to move in three weeks, and we were like, just just try us and see what happens. Are you asking for a challenge? Are you asking for a challenge? 
now. We love a challenge. It's kind of yeah. annoying. Literally, like pulling this off this quickly while not taking any time off of work and I having just, two I kids. I work so much is better under insane. pressure, honestly. So having my back against the wall makes things feel I do love a, challenge. a little better. Yeah. Then knowing that you have so much time, and I don't like that. Yeah, and we still like do have time, and the fact that we can do this in stages. I think if we were doing this all in one weekend, it would feel super chaotic. So I'm glad that we're spreading it out. Um, it's helping too is just starting to visualize what, like what we have to pack. I think that's the part that I have the most anxiety about right now is I'm starting to see like my closet and the boys' closet, like what clothes are left, and those are all the clothes that need to be packed up and taken with us to Amsterdam. And I think I just need to accept the fact that they might not all fit and what doesn't fit can just be put into a storage unit and I just have to like realize we might just have to buy some things when we get there and just to see that as a fun thing. Um, it's just hard when you have a lot of things already here and it feels wasteful to not just like take that with you. Like even we were going with like jackets, like overcoats today. And I'm like we do have some like good overcoats but they take up so much room when you're packing. So you're like, is it worth shipping this as a box? Like how much is it gonna cost to ship a box? If it's hundreds of dollars just for shipping, then like, should we just buy new jackets? Um, so it's just like those kinds of things that my brain is a little bit stressed about, but yeah. um, the fact that we have tenants, the fact that we have someone like buying our couch, buying, oh, slow down. Um, like, get, like buying things, I think that's really helpful. And then my parents are watching um, the boys this morning and they're taking a bunch of stuff to their house, which is nice. Um, just knowing that like they can use it if they want and then if I want it again in a couple years, I could always like take it back. Um, and then nice. Clayton's sister, Mary Catherine, helped with the boys yesterday afternoon, which was so helpful. So it's just been really nice to have family step in and help us with like watching the boys and taking things um, to make the process a little bit smoother. Welcome to our crib. Right. Not our crib, but. <laughs> Should we stack stuff? Hold on, I have to think about this. This is why I wait left. That is hope. There she is. Sorry, I thought I could get the door, but... Here she goes. Thing. I know, I do love that chair so much. I will miss that chair. <laughs> These are all my journals that I've been keeping since literally like high school. I was reading them last night. And honestly, my journals are fascinating. I started like, I was like cleaning out that box because it's like my memorabilia box. I ended up like reading my journals <laughs> for like an hour. Fascinating, honestly intriguing. Um, it was very juicy going back and reading all the drama since like college, when I first moved to LA, when I was a nanny in Turkey, when I was a nanny in LA. When Clay and I first got back together, when we moved to Charleston, when we moved to New York, oh the journals, they're juicy. 